What's up? Uh, another student question. Uh, this time a student asked me how to do real-time MIDI quantization. Now there are some Max for Live devices that allow you to do this, but let's see a workaround using only Ableton Live. So uh, you can do this to anything from uh, drum racks, instruments, samplers, anything you want, anything you want to play and have it quantized in real time. So I'm going to use a sampler. Um, let's uh, load a sample from the amazing 813. Just drop it in an uh, audio track. Um, I already have it warped. And let's only take like four bars out of it. Let's say this. Okay. I'm going to open up a new MIDI track. And I'm going to drop it down here. Oh, in the MIDI track. I'm going to drop it down here. Uh, so it's loaded up in a simpler. And we can even right click and crop the sample. We don't need the rest of the song. We only have this. Nice. I'm going to put it in slice mode. Let's take the sensitivity down. We don't need so many slices. And also play back through, meaning that when I play a, a slice, it's going to play that slice and then it's going to continue to play through the rest of the sample. So I'm launch it. Nice. And now I can kind of do live loop cutting. I can kind of uh, play around the different slices and rearrange the sample in real time. Uh, let's uh, load uh, my webcam here. Uh, so I'm just going to play with the keyboard. It's the ASDF or kind of the white keys and the W is the black keys. And you need to go down an octave with Z or up an octave with X in order to get to uh, C1. C1 is where the simpler uh, start receiving notes for the slices. So we got uh, Nice. Now it's not quantized, meaning it's free time. Right? Which is great. But if you do want to quantize, and again, this is for everything from drum racks to instruments, uh, let's see how to do that. It's a bit of a workaround, but it's a very cool solution. I'm going to delete this audio track. We're only going to be left with a simpler. And now I'm going to create a new MIDI track. I'm going to send MIDI to that simpler or any instrument that you want to quantize in real time. I'm going to set the simpler or the instrument uh, to monitor input so we won't even have to arm it. It's always receiving MIDI. So now I can just arm this track and already launch it. Excellent. Now I'm going to start creating clips. I'm going to create a clip and I'm first going to put uh, the simpler requires C1 for the first slice. So I'm going to put C1, hit legato, so it's stretching the uh, note for the entire bar. And I'm also going to, going to turn off the loop. Nice. I'm going to duplicate that. Duplicate that. Note above. Duplicate that. Switch the note to a note above. Another one. And one more because we have uh, six slices. Right? Yes, we have six slices, so that's all we need. If you need more notes, of course, continue and duplicate uh, and change the note to a note above, and you can do this um, just one time and then save the track or save the project as a template. So now I have each clip playing a different note chromatically. Excellent. So it's being sent to uh, the simpler. So if I launch the first clip, launching the first slice, second second slice and so on. Excellent. Now we can use the power of the session view to quantize in real time. So they're already quantized according to the global quantization engine. So we can simply just change this to anything we want. Or we can select all the clips, go right here and open the launch box and change the quantization of those clips to something else than global. Right now it's listening to the global quantization. We can change, for example, to eighth notes. And now it's quantized. Now I can map, keyboard map, or MIDI map those clips. Let's keyboard map them. Let's do A, S, D, F, G, and H. I'm going to turn off keyboard mapping mode. I'm also going to turn off my computer keyboard uh, acting as MIDI so it can receive those keyboard mapping. Uh, and that's it. And now I can play it while it's quantized. So we quantize it to eighth notes. Even if I launch it really quickly, only eighth notes. Nice. So that's how you quantize in real time 
Um, I'll also post a link to a Max for Live devices that give you the same solution. But this is a great workaround. Okay, catch you next time.